Hey, you all, and good morning. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the gateway to the west, St. Louis, Missouri. And it is the most wonderful time of the year because it is time for the Trans World Halloween and Attraction Show. This occurs near the springtime of every year. It is one of the highlights of my year. I always make sure, no matter what I'm doing, I always try to make sure I am here in St. Louis for the Trans World Show. Now this, this here, here in St. Louis right now, Halloween is beginning to come together. The, uh, the, the companies that sell things for haunted houses, animatronics, costumes, makeup, Everything related to the haunted house industry is uh, is being vended within this building. And haunters, people that own haunted houses, people that work at haunted houses all across the country are coming and congregating here in St. Louis to see what is new, what is the new haunt technology is, what new things are out there, what creative new ideas are bubbling inside there. And you know, the haunt owners will make purchases and uh, you know use these to build up their haunts for the upcoming haunt season. We'll see a lot of things in there that will likely be jump scaring me, terrifying me later in the year once we reach haunt season. So I'm really excited, really excited to see what is new, what sort of things are happening in the haunt world. So please, follow me. All right, as we enter the lobby here of the America Center, we have uh, this pile of skeletons here greeting us to the uh, to the event. I guess it's sponsored by 13th floor, 13th floor Entertainment. They have a series of uh, haunted houses. I've been to quite a few of them across the country. As we enter here, we see Santa Claus because actually, while the focus is primarily on Halloween, they do have a whole Christmas show in there as well. As we enter here, we have some photo ops. You know, this guy here with uh so he's got a praying mantis growing out of his back that's interesting and these are props from poison props and i was trying to figure out what was going on here but then i i think i think i figured it out i think this guy is supposed to be ripping my heart out all right let's see if we can get in here so we go there and ah ah <laughs> he's ripping. He punched. He punched through my chest and grabbed my heart on the way. Oh man, I sure wish my heart was still in my body. And this guy here, I guess he uh, he stabs into you. Ah! Why are you stabbing me the knife? Look at all the gore that's coming out of me. <laughs> all right, let's proceed to the show floor. Here we are. Oh gosh, never know where to start. So much, so much amazing stuff going on in here. So we will start off with a bang. One of my uh, favorite booths, always the, the Distortions booth here. They make some of the most amazing animatronics for haunts. There is the uh, Grumpy Gargoyle. Here. Oh. Grumpy. I'm just trying to get through another day. Well, Grump, you should look at the bright side. I did, and it hurt my eyes. Oh, he's so grumpy. Impossible. This smoking werewolf here. Dinosaurs over here as well. Look at these raptors. These are awesome. I've seen a lot of animatronic dinosaurs. Something just particularly vicious about these. And then here we have the, these are called the Invasion of the Saucer Men. Yeah, just love the design of uh, these aliens, kind of the unique distortions type 
design where it's like a little bit cute, but also very, very creepy. All right, Frankenstein, let's, uh, let's see what you got here. Oh, there we go. There he goes, okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, Frankenstein. Oh, back up, back up. gnarly static figures here. Got a little pumpkin writhing on the ground there. Sort of pumpkin maniac. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love the weird gourd headed man there. Got a big spooky, big spooky tree. Oh, look at this uh, spooky cast of characters here. So, Dr. Quantum is a fully synthetic character, uh, meaning that unlike other animatronics that are already pre-programmed for their behaviors, he decides what he wants to do today. Okay. So, right now, uh, he has a camera, that, uh, that is his, those are his eyes, uh, both infrared and visible spectrum, because obviously we, in a hunt, we may need to see in the dark. So, he is looking for people you can see in the dark. Uh, to interact with as part of his engagement. Oh, oh. oh lovely Louie Sachs to observe my supreme intellect. <laughs> How quaint. So now he's listening. Would you like to ask him a question? All right. Oh, we got a microphone there. You just come from that far away. All right, Dr. Quant. Uh, how are you? Are you having a good show, Dr. Quant? Are you enjoying yourself? I'm shattered to a life of cognitive servitude. Entertaining the civilization. You dare ask for brain in a jar while enjoying it? I, I apologize. I'm sorry, Dr. Quantum. <laughs> Can I ask one question? Sure, go ahead. Dr. Quantum. What now? Tell me about the carpet bagger on YouTube. You asked about me. The carpet bagger on YouTube. Oh, the insignificance. Oh, he said I'm insignificant. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, you insulted me. That's okay. No manners. Is that a very impolite. Well, impolite, impolite, I mean, impolite self-aware brain. That's great. <laughs> uh oh, what's happening here? Okay, there we go. There we go. Rising up. Ah! The spinner. on here behind all this smoke oh geez. oh my god you just sprayed me what the heck was that clown acrobatic act here oh gosh I didn't know he was gonna lunge I was I was paying attention to that I didn't think he would come flying at me we're here to Bixby Studios and I love these uh, these monsters here. Very uh, very cute monsters. But uh, look what they got here. This little Mothman. Oh, yeah. you see, you're seeing Mothman everywhere nowadays. I'm I'm happy for him. Yeah, some great great creatures there. Oh, is he spitting? It's a little spitting. It's a little squirter. A little squirting baby. Yeah. Ah, no. He almost got me there. Just water? Just yeah. Hey, buddy. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he goes. Okay, here at Morbid Monstrosities where you just saw the little spitting baby. Got some uh, terrifying things. Some more spitting here. See the insect creature spitting in to the face of, uh, of this person here. Oh, okay. oh, look at zombie. Zombie Scooby-Doo there. They've got a taxidermied uh, Wendigo. I don't know if that's good to have in your house. 
Dusk Productions here. Uh, very creepy. Static figures. Static figures, of course, the ones that don't uh, jump at you. Or at least the ones you don't think will jump at you. Oh, I think something just jumped. Did something jump? Oh yeah, this one down here. This one's moving. This one's moving. You're at the Dippin' Dots booth. They have the Transworld version of Frozetti the Yeti. You see uh, their mascot there, Frozetti the Yeti. This is the more horrifying, bone-chilling version. All right, and this is possibly the most terrifying thing at Transworld. <laughs> My God, look at this! Like, look! Like, we're wearing, like, he's got, like, <laughs> He got the same jacket on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Virgil. Virgil from uh, Nile Scream Park out in Michigan. And uh, wow. It's like looking like looking in a the mirror there. This is Mr. Jimmy FX Creations. I met Jimmy because he also works for uh, Woods of Terror out in uh, North Carolina. And uh, some really cool, really cool, really spooky masks. These witch masks here. Some terrifying burlap, burlap clowns. Oh, look at this. This guy's gas mask is a baby face. The monster gloves here. Reminds me, what's that? What's it, what's it called? Salad? Like salad fingers? Salad fingers. And I was gifted this bag of carpet here with some 3D printed items. Got a, uh, a Fiji mermaid necklace, a camel, of course, my arch nemesis, and then a little teeny tiny doom buggy there from the Haunted Mansion. Over here at Rib FX, this uh, terrifying Yeti caught my eye. Of course, I was a fan of Sasquatch's Yeti and the like. But then look what else they have here. I that was blown away. Got Johnny Eck, the king of freaks, the performer. He's actually born with little tiny legs, but uh, he presented himself as having only half a body. Where he is doing his trademark one-handed handstand there. So cool. And not only we got Johnny Eck, we also have Joseph Merrick, the elephant man. Oh man, these are amazing. I love it. It's really, really amazing quality here on these uh, famous famous uh, human oddities here so cool and of course I always appreciate a good fish man this is graveyard Gary here what you, what you dug up there Gary what what's that in your hand I don't know Gary I think maybe you should put that back his original sin design and some very very unique figures here something creepy about that right look at the tooth fairy here not only does she have extra teeth growing out of her face in fact her eye is made out of teeth she's also pulling out uh, someone else's teeth that is the most terrifying tooth fairy I've ever seen ghostly ghostly beings there this is beast craft. I, uh, I love them because they produce these uh, giant possum. You can see the, the the taxidermied possum right there. Also, they're, they're they have a full size like 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 six foot possum, the animatronic that's absolutely amazing. I got the headless horseman there, the jack lantern there. I wonder if that's his head there in the bag. What's this button do here? Got the baby face shaker. Oh, it shakes, it shakes. <laughs> Good Batman. This is Dapper Dan there with the top hat. Back there we got uh, 
The skeleton playing the fiddle. Oh, Dapper Dan tips his hat. See the buzzards there, picking, picking some decaying meat off the uh, rotten carcass there. Oh, I didn't notice that. Look at that weird little pumpkin guy back there. Peeking out from under the table. That's creepy. Little tiny things are much creepier than the big monster. Look at peeking. This is post-mortem. Actually started as the gift shop next to uh, Mortem Manor in Orlando and it's kind of expanded to become uh, this uh, dealer of all sorts of wonderful horror items, toys, things like that. Oh man, look at this. This little goblin here. Has his intestines like coming out. Look at his brains. His brains sticking out there. The creative visions. We have uh, Mr. Harlan Sanders. You can even see. Oh, he, yes, he was at IAPA. He has a, I was looking for a Transworld badge. He has a IAPA badge. That's not till November. Graffiti FX here with some makeup. Uh, look at this. Some sort of, uh, I don't know, it's some sort of insect like creature there. Spray me a little bit of insecticide. Oh, look at that. His face is pulsating. Oh my gosh. Yeah, VFX creates here. Always have some of these amazing puppets. Oh, is that a little, little, little goat there? Oh, what's he eating? He's eating a bottle. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> are, you, are you a nice goat or are you an evil goat? <laughs> Different puppets here. Now look at the chimp puppet. I think that would probably be the most terrifying. You know, like goat staff there. So you can like throw the staff, terrify people. Oh, 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 there he goes. I like this uh, robot faced lady. Looks like her face fell off, revealing that she was indeed some sort of automaton. Oh no, you've got some sort of giant bat creature in the process of killing you. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> Immortal masks here. Looks like they got some fun stuff. Look at these crazy dragon heads. Got varieties of cat here. That is the uh, Cheshire cat there. And uh, look at this, look at this. It's like guy with like a, uh, a evil fish an evil fish coming out of his mouth, and then a clown with a tinier clown living in his head. I feel like when I get exhausted from being on the road, I need, uh, need something like this to help keep my eyes open. It's pretty amazing. So that was like a fogger connected to the mask. So it's like someone has been burned where they're like still sizzling. There is so much cool stuff here, like the, the smiley face, and uh, look at this rat, look at that. That's a, something's unsettling about this, I, I'm not sure what. Something, something. Look at this, you can also be a human, uh, human rhinoceros. You can see blood and honey poo there. Oh, I'm wondering if we'll see any, uh, any Steamboat Willie masks this year. Here's the ever popular uh, Art the Clown from Terrifier. But I love these Lucha Demons here. And I think it's a nice touch that the, uh, the cross on their forehead is upside down. We're here at Ghost Ride. We have uh, this uh, version of the Demogorgon. And I don't know, something, something about the Demogorgon with human skin makes it even more terrifying. We got Stilty Studios. Oh, look at this. It's gonna be Fuzzy Spider. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is great. Now, what's back here? The carpet bagger. That guy's famous. Oh, look at that. 
big glowy Sasquatch there. And it is an, it's an optical illusion because you put it in a black light room. Okay. The black stilts disappear. Completely. Okay, so he's like walking through the, the air. He can hang from the ceiling. Hang from the ceiling. Oh yeah, that's cool. Really fun. Oh look at this. Waxy lady here. The monsters alive here. Look at that teddy bear ripping off his own head. Some sort of demon hanging out right there. Oh. Right, so I'm supposed to walk on the bridge here? Just going up? What's gonna happen? Oh, okay. Oh, hello, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our reminiscence of Pit of Hell. <laughs> oh yeah, look down there. Oh yeah, look, the freaking skeletons. The Pit of Hell. <laughs> There's macabre intentions. It's a very unique stuff over here. Oh, look at the this mouse here with the drums. I don't know. Does that count as a does that count as a steamboat, Willie? <laughs> got a corn dog there? I got situated. You gotta get situated? I got situated. First things first. I'm the realist. Jay's not included. I'm cool. You look like a pretty stand up guy, but you're not. You're not at Shay's level yet. And uh, check out the corn dogs. <laughs> I didn't expect one this big, but I got a corn dog. Wait, get back here. Get back I here. guess my friend. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, oh, oh. wait, wait. Catch up, catch up on your corn dog. Final question. Yeah. Slash or pass? Slash or pass? Yes. Let's go slash. Yeah! All right. <laughs> yeah, look at this armor here. Colorful bunny, I guess Easter themed, post apocalyptic armor. Shattered effects. You, you want me to hold the baby? Yeah. All right, all right, hang on just a second. All right, is this baby gonna do anything weird to me? No. Just baby grubs in the mouth. Check the hole. Check the hole? Yep. The mouth opens. The mouth? <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. What is this? Oh, I put that back in there. Put that back in there for you. All right, good. Go to sleep there, baby grub. Oh, man. It's got some heft to it. Oh, that's a that's a mean one there. We got some uh, variety of snowmen. And uh, is that Momo? Does anyone remember Momo? Oh, and look, it's Stitch. Why does he have teeth coming out of his neck and his ears? Oh gosh. Oh, here we go. Here's some uh, here's some Steamboat Willies. We got the Froggy's Fog booth here, the number one name in fog and artificial snow. And we had we had the oh, jewel in this our warehouse. Oh, the fog flame there. Oh, our graveyard jewel here. I like the ventriloquist act here. Oh! I wasn't expecting him to jump scare me. Or galore booth. We've always got some fun uh, animatronics here. Check out that dragon here in this garden of mushrooms. Here in this garden, we also have this psychotic uh, garden gnome. Oh, look at this. We got the Wendigo. Look at the Wendigo. Oh my gosh. Big man arms puppet there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Here we go. Bright Pops Mortuary. I think they've got some animatronics here. We yeah, got the picture spinning on the wall. The haunted house there. Yeah, the different doors pop open. You kind of see like some of the skeletons there. 
of the animatronics. Swinging chandelier. I do like the two little rats there on the seesaw. Yeah, you can see here kind of the animatronics and then what their skeletons look like. Here are these feet that would be sticking out of like a mortuary. You can see how the inner workings work. And look at this. We have this big skeleton beast here. I guess these levers operate different aspects. All right, that orange bar operates his mouth. Let's see if we can, all right, the yellow bar there. That turns his head. Yeah, that moves his, moves his arm there. That's so cool. Let's try to see if we can move the other arm. Closed Casket Studios here. What's over these ghosts? And uh, that's like a carnival punk that you'd knock down. That's pretty fun. This mask here, this is known as uh, Florida Man for some reason. Here I am. We have hallucinations creations here. It says, got startle scares? We do. So this is like blasts of air and loud noises. Let's try these out. Oh gosh! Okay. This is the rapid fire blaster. <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh. This is the mega, mega air blaster here. Oh my gosh. Sin City props here. And this pretty cool Willy Wonka. But I'm wondering, I still have not seen the unknown. There's talking skulls here. I guess you speak in the microphone and then the, the skull will say what you're saying. Let's see if we can do this. Hello, hello. Skull head on the mic. <laughs> oh, I need this for my house. <laughs> and it is time to enter the dark zone. The dark area where all the uh, props are illuminated, all the animatronics. All right, we have a photo op here with Art the Clown. It says sit here for photo op. So I, I just sit down here with the clown? Oh yeah. Is something bad gonna happen to me? No, you can do it. Easy. I, it makes me really nervous. Okay, the, ouch! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just, just gave me a little vibration there. Poison props here. Oh my god. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that down there. Oh, he's there he goes! <laughs> Werewolf right here. Oh no! Got this woman sitting on this bench. This were oh, this werewolf tore her head clean off. Clean off. At least he put it back on. Have Dead Farm Productions here. This gas station. Hello there. How long's a piece of string? What's that? How long's a piece of string? How long's a piece of string? I don't know. Too damn long. All right. Oh, we got a 
telephone call here. some creative masks love the uh, love the big Sasquatch there oh look at that the badger the badger mask and of course the uh, the vicious possum as well haunt creations has these uh, taxidermy clown heads for uh, for the ultimate uh, big game hunter who's out to catch the ultimate game clown we have an Oompa Loompa, but still uh, still no unknown. The makeup presentation here by Dreadworks. And definitely a different texture with the piece. We've got skeletons and more. We have these great skeletons and more. But mostly, but mostly skeletons. Here's the Dark Attraction and Funhouse Enthusiast booth. A uh, grouping of people who are fans of dark rides and fun houses, so people of a like mind to myself. And here is their magazine, Dark Times. You can see the uh, organ player from the haunted uh, mansion at Knobles there. That, uh, that is the Pirate's Cove at Waldemere. And uh, they're a new a new uh, dark ride, the uh, haunted mo uh, the haunted hotel, went out there uh, last year. That is uh, in Maine. We're at Boneyard Productions. Oh, what's this? This is going to be a chainsaw. Blowing chainsaw there. <laughs> Now it's gonna be a cyber saw. Right? A cyber saw. Like a cyber saw. Cyber saw. There we go. So a chainsaw lightsaber. <laughs> now, the hell saw. The hell saw. The hell saw. It shoots souls. <laughs> Check this out. In this machine here, we have the Curse Doctor. So apparently, he can uh, 
put a curse on anyone that you would uh, that you would like. So I guess you put uh, you put your token in there, and then you. Ah, I sent you off. A powerful failure, I will be good. Now, Alright, so we gotta pick who we want to curse here. Now, I don't have a boss. I don't have any co workers. I know I gotta do that. Uh, I have no in laws. Public figure. The, the, my neighbors are fine. You know what? I know exactly who I wanna curse, but it's a secret. All right, we stopped over here at Ghostly Productions of some uh, some really fun masks. Look at these uh, Vincent Price masks here, but apparently, apparently someone left something here for me. So it says, to Jacob there. I think we got a little friend we're gonna bring home. Hey, buddy. So a big thank you to Dakota, who left this uh, bear Cecil. Said that uh, they knew that I was a fan of creepy dolls and creepy things. So they left this here for me. Oh, I love him so much. Scareco creations here, selling some oddities here like the uh, vampire killing kit. Oh yeah, look at the little little critter there. Little pocket pocket Necronomicons. Oh, here we go. This is a, this is a this is a Steamboat Willie for sure. This is Screamboat Screamboat Killy. This is a pretty terrifying Uncle Sam there. Oh, look at this! You have a happy little pumpkin man. Are you gonna dance? Do a little pumpkin dance there. Oh, oh, hey! Oh, let's say goodbye. Where are they going? <laughs> All right. So tell me, go inside the, go inside the, uh, the jack o' lantern journey here. Oh yeah, you can see the illuminated. Illuminated pumpkins there. I love this. The, the the pumpkin octopus elephant beast is uh is really impressive. It's the Roman Coliseum. All right, great great stuff, pumpkin. <laughs> All right, it's great meeting you, pumpkin man. Alright folks, well uh, I normally normally I try to squeeze all of Trans World into one video, but it is so massive and there's so much more ground to cover that I think I'm gonna come back later in the week. Trans World is occurring, you know, over the next multitude of days. So I think it'd be best if uh, we put this one to rest for the day and that we revisit uh, the rest of the convention. We still got a lot of Halloween stuff to cover and the entire Christmas show um, that they have within to uh, to cover. So I think we will uh, we will be returning either uh, within the next within the next few days. We coming back over here to uh, to visit uh, the rest of Trans World. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. We've got uh, got Cecil there. My uh, my new friend Cecil, a new uh, new companion, a new uh, bunker dens in there, and not only do we have Cecil, we also have the puppet bagger. Let me see if I can. Let me see if my puppeteering is is any good here. Hey, you all. Okay, I'm gonna let the puppet bagger do the rest of the outro. Let me let me get down here. Let me get out of the get out of the frame. So thank you guys for joining us today here at Transworld, one of my favorite events 
one of my favorite events of the year. I always look forward to coming out here to St. Louis for this event. I think, I, am I still trying to get, sorry. If you do like these videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to uh, half a million subscribers. Um, I don't, ne probably never gonna make a million, but I'm trying to get to half a million. So if you would subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If uh, you like to help support the channel, uh, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more, get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop as well as doing personalized messages on Cameo. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, <laughs> this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.